How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Bee Swarm Simulator. I am your host, Farm Parker, um, and Uh Today, we're going to be talking about mutated bee tips, which bees to mutate first, how do I do it, what mistakes not to make, etc. Uh, I did want to give a couple shout outs to these fine peeps right here, our seven latest subs. If you want to shout out, make sure to click that subscribe button. I do see every sub that comes through, and I will shout out your name eventually in the next few videos. Shout outs to Kraz, Zach, The Puppet Land, Brent, Veronica, Sands, Josh, and Fenrod. How's it going, buddies? And mutated bees. If you want further information on mutated bees, what to aim for, and more and more tips, make sure to look for this video that I did, I think, yesterday. So, search my videos, buy that icon, learn some more stuff. Let's go ahead and mutate some bees and give you guys some tips. Uh, first thing I'm going to say is very be very careful with the materials you have. And make sure to pay attention to this very closely because if you don't use your berries properly, you can just waste them. Uh, for example, I know the McDaughter, even when she's seven years old, uh, recently wasted all of her neon berries. I said, hey, just wait till the end of the day, I'll help you out. And at the end of the day, they were gone. So here's what we're going to do. As you can see here, first things first, uh, which bees do I mutate? Uh, I would say, obviously, prioritize event bees slash mythic bees first. As you can see here, I got a spicy bee with gather amount. I got a vector bee with gather amount. I got this guy with gather amount. Lots of gather amount. Uh, this guy with gather amount. And I got really lucky with the lion bee with attack. One thing I will uh, give as a tip straight away is I've never seen, given I've only done this almost a dozen times, I've never seen a mutation double... Uh, its specialty twice in a row. For example, if you use your first mutation, your atomic treat, on your lion bee, and it gives attack, and you got super lucky, the next atomic treat you use, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say cannot be attacked twice in a row. So if you get attack, the next atomic treat you want to use might be on tabby bee. So you get maybe some convert amount. I got really unlucky with uh, energy, but we're going to talk about that too. Uh, so the bees I would do first, mythic bees, pretty much all of them except tadpole, not super interesting. Uh, event bees to include gummy. This convert amount is super amazing. Uh, I got really lucky with photon B2 plus 10% convert amount. If you get energy on this guy, we're going to talk about that. Uh, given it's unlimited, it'd be a complete waste. But we're going to talk about what not to do. And one of those not, not to do things is if you get a bee mutated, for example, my tabby bee has plus 22% energy. Therefore, she stays in the hive or in the field with me longer. However, that's not a, a super great mutation. I could re-roll that, and I might in this stream, but I would say that getting more bees mutated is probably more important than re-rolling a mutation on a bee, because given you've got 22 energy here, the very next one that you use could also be 22 energy. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and roll a bear bee first, and if he gets energy, or whenever I get energy next, I will be re-rolling Tabby B to make sure it's not energy, if that makes sense. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to be using Neon Berries to radiate, or what is it, radioactive? Yeah, radiate to the Bear B, and then we're going to use Bitter Berries. When you use Bitter Berries, it is a 1 in 100 chance that you get a radioactive B. 1 in 100 chance. If you guys can type that in the chat. 1 slash 100. So that's like flipping a penny a hundred times. And you gotta get really lucky. So to increase the odds, I always use 50. Always use 50. Uh, if you don't have 50, just save up. I've got a lot of bitter berries and neon berries from Mantis and Spider Wolf. Uh, highly recommend. Alright, so Bear B, here we go. Neon Berry, it's going to make him radioactive for I think two to five minutes. I'm not real sure. It says a while. 
and some of these can be radioactive just like my uh, spicy bee is right now they can affect each other that uh, other bees around them so let's go ahead radioactive all right it's temporary radioactive it's got that little icon just like the spicy bee does here that means i could use a bitter berry and change his thing so here we go i'm gonna use 50. always use 50. that's why it's a 50 50 chance you either will or you won't i did not that sucks all right here we go again I had 285 of these. I only expect two, two successful things. Up oh, there we go. We missed again. Please work this time. There we go. Plus 24% energy. That's actually decent because even though it's energy and sucks, I can actually use that to my advantage because the next mutation I get, most likely, I've yet to see it, will not be energy. So even though Bear Bee just got energy, and that does kind of suck, I'm going to go ahead and roll Tabby Bee again to try for that convert amount. Since she's got energy and I don't want energy, right now is the best time to make sure she does not end up with energy. So let's go ahead and Neon Bear the Tabby. Uh, yes. And hope, 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 no energy. Uh, two more tries, buddy. Please work. Yeah! Awesome. Okay, I'm glad it worked on camera. You guys got to see it. I got plus 25% gather amount. I'll keep it. Uh, the convert amount would be been... Convert? Conversion amount. Whatever it is. Uh, plus 25% gather amount. Exclamation mark hype. That's pretty good. So here's the thing. Here's the, the biggest lesson from this video. I got 35 left. I'm not going to use because it's not 50. Tabby Bee is looking great. Plus 25% gather amount. And here's the biggest thing to get from the video. The biggest thing to get from the video is if you use a neon berry on a bee and then start using bitter berries 50 at a time and you get something that's bad. If I get plus 20 plus whatever energy, I would say energy in general is awful probably the worst stat you can get if you get energy the very next mutation will not be energy so if you have say a spicy bee that has energy and you don't want him to have that energy don't don't repeatedly try to roll him what you want to do is mutate another bee like i just did bear bee and then go to the bee that you want to get rid of the energy and re-roll them, if that makes sense. So, plus 25% gather amount. He now's gather is 1752. Oh, wow. It went down a little bit. Uh, over a 1,000 in four seconds. So, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Do I have any other special things to do? I do have 40,000 roll jellies. I could get another mythic bee right now. Also, some star jellies. What else to do? Again, if you're not using 50 berries, you should save. Always save to 50 berries. Can we spam that in chat? Let's go ahead and spam that in chat. Always. Let's make it cap so you guys can see it. Always save to 50 berries before attempting mutation. Okay, there we go. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, to be honest, I would even wait until probably 150 that we have at least three attempts. In most cases, all of my mutations took either two or three attempts. Very rarely do you get it first try. So if you go into this, just remember you only have so many neon berries and you only have so many bitter berries. Uh, I personally am going to wait until 150 bitter berries before trying to mutate any bee. How do you get neon berries? Neon and bitter berries come from uh, mantis, wolf, spider. Mantis, wolf, spider. So be farming those constantly. Uh, check this out. So windy bee right now. We're going to try just, just for the stream uh, 35 bitter berries. Uh, right now you can see it's radiated because other bees around it are radioactive. So here we go. 35 bitter berries going against my own rules. I will regret it. Uh, please. Nope. Okay. That's why you use 50, guys. That's why you use 50. So, I have zero bitter berries left. Lesson to learn for you guys. Uh, 
So the way this works, this guy right here is mutated, right? He's got a mutation. If he is mutated, all of the surrounding bees can be mutated at some point and will have this little icon. If you have that icon, that is the equivalent of using a neon berry on that bee. So this bee has better chance of being uh, mutated from bitter berries uh, without having to use a neon berry. So as you're farming, if you come back to your hive and see this, you can freely mutate them without having to use neon berries. Just keep in mind if they have that icon, neon berry is not necessary. Um, let's see. So we got cat bee, 25% gather amount. Bear bee, kind of sucks for energy. And the way I'm going to fix this is the next time I roll for mutations, I'm going to try to uh, mutate windy bee. And the next time I get however much percentage for energy, I'm going to then mutate bear bee immediately to get rid of that energy, if that makes sense. If they currently have energy, or you just got energy, it can't be energy twice in a row. So if you want to get rid of a mutation that sucks, just just do that. What's up, Smurf? Zach? Kraz? What's up, guys? But uh, Bear Bee will be fixed in, uh, I'm, I'm going to say, two days. Not not a huge deal. The gather amount on this Factor Bee is tremendous. I don't, I can't remember if I got this guy. Yeah, energy up here, too. So I'm going to be re-rolling him soon as well. Energy kind of sucks, but I guess it's... Uh, I don't know what the worst stat would be. Energy sucks, though. I'll say that. Uh, I'm going to be live here in a few minutes doing a crap ton of stick bug. Uh, shout out to level 17 gummy bee with 20% conversion amount. 210 in 2 seconds. My offload. I want to show you guys my offload. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video here soon. I want to show you guys that Demon Mask is 100% the new meta. I don't know if you guys have been doing a lot of farming or not, but if you come up here to Pepper and you have Demon Mask on, given I'm not super buffed right now, uh, the fill up isn't super fast, but I make a lot of honey. I got 755 million right now. Let's just go ahead and test out a couple mutated bees. Got some bear bee action going. I do really like the carpenter hive still. I'm still seeking to get at least one more. Uh, the photon bee, not photon bee, vector bee. Super helps, super helps. You'll notice a blinking yellow light every few minutes, every few seconds. And that is from the vector bee doing a huge surge on all of my marks. It makes every mark gather X number of pollen and really fills up the bag quick. So demon mask, new meta. I'll be doing some grinding tips here soon. Make sure you're using all the HQs. It seems like nearly every field is almost equal. I actually do super good in sunflower now, so it's very interesting. I got 55 billion a few minutes ago off of 15 minutes of cocoa using demon mask. It's very interesting. The fact that it has, uh, what is it? Instant flame conversion. Plus 100% instant flame conversion. If you get any flames going, even if your bag is near full like mine is right now, uh, if I get a flame, just billions of honey just instantly happens. So test out the demon mask, specifically in Pepper or any red HQ buff field. Uh, thanks for the new sub. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Uh, Zekro. Thanks a lot, Zekro. Uh, I did want to point out, too, that in the bottom left corner of your screen, there is a radioactive uh, shiny thing. If you, for some reason, have been watching that, I wanted to show you guys a quick little tip before we end the video. If you guys could help me out with like 50-ish likes, that'd be awesome. I feel like this video is going to help a lot of players. Make sure to recommend it to a friend or share it in a Discord. And if you have further mutated questions, make sure to ask me before making a big decision. Don't waste your materials. Feel free to watch the first few minutes of this multiple times. That way you fully understand and learn from my mistakes. But if you guys check out the radioactive thing in the bottom left, you will notice that occasionally it will be slightly larger. And if we do it just like this, holy crap. Holy crap. Good day. Good luck, guys. Go mutate your bees. Have a good day. Send me a lot of hype pictures in Discord. I, I feel like I have epilepsy just seeing this in the corner of my eye. So I got to go. Stick bugs in a few minutes. I'm going to run 30 plus today. 30 plus stick bugs in about 15 minutes. Be ready or be steady.
Shout out to everybody. Deuces. Thank <laughs> you.